Today's video is going to teach you how to use the spin move in Madden NFL 16. It's going to give you some running tips and some things you can do to have a better running game in Madden NFL 16. Welcome to the video, guys. Today's my uh, my name is Cody Boward, and I like to make Madden 16 content to hopefully get you a little better at the game, hopefully shed some light on some things you may have not considered. And uh, I think I do a decent job of it. I'm not the best by any means, but I do my best to bring you good content. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing you how to use uh, a certain type of spin move um, that I don't see very many people using. Uh, now this play, you could do this out of anything. What I like to do is come out in like a stretch or a, a power O out of this I-Form Twins. It doesn't really matter what formation you're using in. We can actually do it out of the split close and also several other, several other formations. But basically what you're going to do is when you get the handoff, you're going to hold left trigger and then you're going to um, flick that right analog stick. You're going to flick it around. So you're going to start at 3 o'clock if you're running to the right side and you want to spin back left. Start at 3 o'clock and you're going to spin it all the way back around to the right side at 9 o'clock. So here we'll show you how this looks. Hold down left trigger. And oh, we held it down a little too early. You want to get going as well before you do this move. You want a little bit of room to run and then you'll make this move. So a little bit of room to run. And oh, we did it again. Sorry. Uh, but we're showing you how to use the spin move, the manual spin, and I really like it. I think it's pretty good. Uh, but we don't have enough room. We're going to have to use a, a different running play here. Uh, I don't think the iframe Twins is going to show this off as, as good. Um, some running plays we use the single back ace. But I don't know if they have a if they have a stretch play out of their book. Let's see if they use the F pair tight tight Twins here. No, no plays there. We can always use a single back bunch ace quick pitch. That's my favorite play. And we'll just go against random plays defensively. But what you're going to do here, and we're going to run it to the left, so we're going to actually flip the setup. And we're just, you're going to run outside, and when you want to come back in, you're going to hold left trigger, and then you're going to spin back in. You see it's going to create a nice little stutter, pivot foot kind of animation. And it's really good for situations where they're over-pursuing. So here, um, and not, not quite there where they're not over really over-pursuing, but if I can get a good example here, I'll show you where they're over-pursuing to the outside, and then you're going you're gonna to come back in. Um, so let me just let me just try. I'm gonna take the tight end away. So I take the tight end away here. There it is, and uh, we just kind of hesitate a little bit. It's really really good on kickoff returns. And then the other thing is, if you don't hold left trigger, so if you don't hold left trigger, it's gonna create a nice little tight compact spin move that you can do. As you see, it's kind of like a pivot spin. It's a little different, um, but it's it's it, here's the original spin. So this is just hitting circle. And you see it, it's good, and it's something that I use a lot of. But when I want to pivot, and I want a nice tight spin, um, that's for situations where like we're running in between the tackles, and we need a, a tight spin, what we'll do is we'll do this where we hold that right analog stick to the right and do like a, basically what it is going to feel like is a juke spin, but you're going to hold that stick down. So here it is, and oh, we, we went the wrong way there. See, sometimes you do that, but uh, we'll show you this again. We'll go left side this time try and show this off whoops um, but this is also in combination with some of the other running moves we're going to show you there's a lot of new moves this year um, that I've never really broken down this spin move and I think it's pretty good but here it is there you see it um, and that's kind of the the thing now um, what normally will happen uh, is I'll split the defenders with this spin move and that's why I think it's so effective um, so here you'll see and whoops we got caught up there trying to get a good example just to show you what it can do um, so I'm trying to run out wide on purpose there it was and we, could, we should have totally done it there and we just messed up but that's what kind of the situation where you want to run it where they're kind of starting to over pursue so here over pursue and we go to the spin and power up now that's kind of one of those situations where you may want to double juke because they are to the extreme of over pursuing but when they're into the extreme of over pursuing there you see it and that's a good example so we'll pause it here and show this um, this is kind of what the power of this uh, this is something very small but I just want to show it because I think it's a very effective tool uh, in your game so here you see this if we were to try to double juke he's just gonna tap he's gonna tackle us there's not enough room to double juke in this situation we're gonna do that nice pivot spin move and you see he's gonna over pursue and we're gonna split the defenders and get about five more yards than we would have otherwise and what it is it's a one cut style run uh, and we and we really like this what I do again come out and then 
there and that was a great example so there you see the pivot spin move doing uh, something very effective for our running game and like I said you know we're obviously exaggerating this to try to show you more examples but you know when mixing this in with some of the other running moves it makes you a really good running back in my opinion this year but you see there where they're so over pursued that I don't have time to set up my double juke what you'll see is I'll do this nice little pivot spin move. It's a very tight, quick spin, and it just is really effective for situations like that where they're right in your face um, and you just don't have time to get to your double juke. So here it is again. And well, we got we had a little too much pursue there, a little too much of the defense. And there, see that would have been more of one of those double juke times. And and so we'll show you this as well. But here, there, there it is again, and there you see the pivot spin move. I really like it. I think it's a really good style to run this year. I think it's something very simple you can do to make your game better. But again, here it is. We hold that left trigger, or we're, we're right before we start to spin, we hold the left trigger down, and we circle that right analog stick from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, and we get a nice pivot spin, and we get about, you know, about 7 more yards as a result of that. Um, and if we hammer it up there, and the cool part, of, and the, what you want to do is, after you do the double spin, or the pivot spin, you want to hold the truck down so that you get power yardage um, ahead. And there you see it again, a good example uh, of that power spin. So we'll show you a couple more runs here. There's a hop juke. A lot of different running tips this year, and I can't wait to break some of them down. But uh, this was kind of my first one I want to do because I think this is probably the most original one I have. Um, this is probably the one that I use the most that I don't see very many people using. Um, and I just think it's really good for compact situations. There's the double juke. And uh, I've actually been working on the double juke and I haven't quite liked it as much as most people have. There you see the double juke. And I don't really, you know, I think the compact spin does a little better. Um, there you see the double juke do some good work for us but and then the other thing that you can do also and there's power spins and great run by Martin but um, it's this also works really good for inside runs when you run inside and 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 right here wow what a play by that's that Von Miller but um, what I like to do is use it to kind of find the hole obviously this situation we're not gonna run inside we're gonna run outside we still got shamed on the outside there but um, we'll show you here so just simple power and this double spin or this little pivot spin move is going to do a nice job in situations where you're running laterally. So you're running laterally and you want to cut back in. If I could get you an example, I'm trying to show you an example of this. It's hard to do this in practice mode where you don't have you, you don't have perfect variables, but you want to come right and uh, whoops, we juked outside on accident. It's all based off of you know where you're kind of at, but this the stretch. You see how he's kind of get skinny behind? That's kind of the new features. So you kind of do need to be more in the open field or at least more downfield or through the line. But once you get through the line, there you see that spin move now starts to become an option uh, for you. So when you're running, this helps you. What this really does for you uh, is it helps you get going north-south. There you see it again, and that's really what I want to end on here today. Um, what's the whole goal of this and what we really get at? with this power spin it's gonna help you get going north south when you need to and what you'll see here is we cut this outside we're going horizontally and what we're gonna do is he's got a pursuit angle so we get that nice power spin move in cut back in hold the truck button down and get about four or five more yards uh, i think this is a really great tip and i think it really helps you guys when running the